I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Crack SAT. Here is a very important question from trigonometry, which you can definitely expect in the new SAT system. This is a calculator based question and it could be rated as around question number 23 or between 23 and 25. Let's understand the question. We are given a triangle. The figure is not to the scale. The question is, for the acute angles A and B shown above, sine of x degree equals to cos of y degrees. If x equals to 3p minus 22 and y equals to 5p minus 12, what is the value of p? Four options are given to you. Well, most of the time, if you have no clue, you can always plug in. So if you plug in the answers for P and calculate sine X and cos Y and compare, you will surely get the correct option. That is a very good way of doing also. However, let us try to understand the concept. Now, plugging in with the right concept is also a good idea. So, if you really have time to prepare for a city, let us understand few concepts. You just need to understand 10 concepts to crack a city. So, whenever you have a question which says sine x equals to cos y, as soon as you read this statement, you should think about a right triangle. Let me make one here for you. So in a right triangle, let's say the two angles are X and Y. So in a right triangle, you'll always notice that sine of X is equal to cos of Y. Reason is very simple. If you look from the X point of view, this side is opposite, correct? From X point of view, hypotenuse is the longest side always. But if you look from Y point of view, in that case, this is adjacent. So therefore, sin x has to be equal to cos y. Perfect. Also, we could have written cos x equals to sin y. Both work. In any right triangle, how are x and y related? The relation is very simple. The sum of these two is 90 degrees. So, so the total is 180. In a right triangle, we always have x plus y equals to 90. Now that becomes a very important equation and this is going to always help you to understand and solve such questions. So when you have this kind of an equation which says sin x equals to cos y, remember x plus y is 90. Perfect. Now, once you know this, so this is your basic concept, then see how easy it becomes to solve this question. So, we are given x as equal to 3p minus 22. And we are given y as equals to 5p minus 12. Now, what we are saying, we are saying their sum is 90, right? So, we are just saying that 3p minus 22 plus 5p minus 12 is equal to 90. So when you add them, 3 plus 5 is 8p minus 22 minus 12, we can take to the other side. Well, calculator is allowed, right? So I'm just showing you the calculations. It could be done without a calculator also, right? So if you get this question as question number 20 without calculator, you could do like this. So you get 2 plus 2, 4. 
9 plus 1, 10 plus 2, 12. 124 so P is equals to 124 divided by 8 8 times 1 is 8 44 8 times 5 is 40 40 8 times 5 is 40 you get option B as the correct option perfect so in four steps you could actually get the right answer so rather than trying four different values and confirming your answer you could do like this and get it now let's check right 15.5 so if I write value of P as 15.5 we get 3 times 15.5 and then from here we'll take away 22 so we get some angle for this angle let us find sine of this answer right so we get a value of 41.46 so we know sine of 15.5 is equals to I'm sorry uh, sine of X is 41.46 or 0 0.41 uh, 0 0.41 okay so we get 0 0.4146 right so we're just confirming our answer Similarly, if I write 15.5 for P, I get 5 times 15.5 minus 12 equals to whatever you get. For that, we'll find cosine. So we get cosine of our answer, which is equal to the same thing. So we find both of them are equal to 0 0.4147 approximately. When the value well, for P is 15.5 perfect so if you use the calculator you'll definitely get that as your answer however it is always good to understand the concept and try it out if you can right and you'll notice that this solution could be done in less than a minute perfect so it's a good idea when you are preparing especially to get some concepts get ready for a city and then crack it. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.